month after a man was stabbed to death at a Federal Hill hookah bar. The suspect was back in federal court today, accused of violating a prior drug charge. Joel Francisco was captured in Texas and returned to Rhode Island this week. He had been on the run after 46-year-old Troy Pine was stabbed to death at Nara Hookah Lounge in October. Well, tonight we're hearing from Pine's nephew about why Francisco was out of prison in the first place. Iowa News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live in studio with the latest. Joel Francisco was released from a life sentence in federal prison earlier this year, and now prosecutors say he violated the terms of his release repeatedly, including by allegedly murdering Troy Pine. A judge in federal court ordered Joel Francisco held without bail today, pending a hearing in December on whether he violated the terms of his release from prison. Francisco was let out in February under the First Step Act, passed by Congress and signed by President Trump in December. He had been serving a life sentence for possessing crack cocaine with intent to sell, but petitioned to get out under the new law, including his GED transcript in his request to the court, even this certificate for completing a course in conflict management, but police say Francisco did not avoid conflict once released. He was arrested in July, accused of attempted breaking and entering in Providence. And then on October 2nd, Providence police say he stabbed Troy Pine to death inside the Nara Hookah Lounge on Federal Hill, then fled. It's unfortunate that he got a second chance at life and he didn't do the right thing when he came home. Pine's nephew, Jay Chattel, says he doesn't fault the First Step Act, which allowed Francisco to be released. But he questioned why Francisco wasn't hauled in for violating the terms of his release earlier. In addition to the July arrest, the judge said Francisco has tested positive for drugs on five occasions. It's kind of confusing that he was able to mess up so many times and 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 to be still home. I asked the chief probation officer for federal court in Providence, John Marshall, why Francisco wasn't accused of violating his release earlier before he allegedly murdered Pine. He declined to comment. No date has been set yet for Francisco's murder arraignment in Providence. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.